final term about to commence. At the Western Oval, Footscray leads by 35 points. They turned it around in the third quarter. Can St Kilda come back? They go to the left. Wine wins the tap. Liberatore from the centre. Chris Grant and David Grant. Had a terrific duel. Chris Grant just slightly on top after that third term. There's Harvey going back. Now David Grant, smothered by Colin who did a lot of good work like that in the third term. Well, that's say 50 metres, didn't it? That uh, smother from Steve Colin. So, Footscray just in attack. Had a magnificent third term. And they kicked seven goals to uh, just six points by the Saints. Atkins running straight at it at Dwyer. Or Liberatore cleverly. Atkins will have to sit and wait, he does. His handball only as far as Dwyer. Dwyer's kick. Back in towards the centre. Foster backs himself, but unfortunately the bounce a little awkward. Devonport should give it off a little bit. Put it to Stephen Clark. Lockett has got the mark. He's been held, according to the umpire. I thought he may have been doing a little bit of the holding himself. Fending off anyway. That was uh, very, very similar, I thought, the uh, circumstances for both players. Robbo, very similar circumstances. W Hawkins going down to indicate to the umpire that he thought maybe... Lockett may have been doing a bit of the holding, but Lockett's got the football, so St Kilda will have the last laugh if Lockett can capitalise. Gee, if ever they need a goal from their full forward, it's here. 20 metres out directly in front. And he kicks it straight through the centre. And I think he's aware that he was a little fortunate there. But still, St Kilda have got their seventh goal on the scoreboard, and more importantly, it's happened very quickly in the last turn. Still not completely out of this match, St Kilda, another quick goal, and all of a sudden, St Kilda with their tails up, and we've got a different ball game. Thirteen nine seven sixteen. Lockett's kicked his second. Can the Saints recover here? and stage a dramatic comeback. Greg's kicked the centre half forward, low spoil by Foster. Foster again against the play. Hunter, a little left footer, Liberatore. That's got to be 50, surely. No, I'm not going to pay it, but very late on that tackle there from uh, Dean Greg. Now McPherson off Liberatore to centre half forward. Coleman, probably a free kick against him to Morris. Grant took the mark, but uh, Morris holding his face. And now David Grant to centre wing, looking for Newport and finds him. Onto his left foot. Dougie Hawkins slipping back, takes the mark. Four goals to Hawkins today, instrumental in a couple of others. And you get the feeling now that uh, Bernie may play a kick behind the play, considering that uh, Footscray have got this lead and will want to hang on. I, I probably think he'd play the same role as he did against Adelaide last week, Bruce, a loose man in defence. Newport has the mark on centre wing for St Kilda. They must move it quickly. Short kick is not bad. That could be a mark paid to Fletcher. If it's not, it's a free kick. And Fletcher is wide at right half forward. Handballs away to Newport. Obviously instructions for them are to play on at all costs. Newport to full forward. Punched away from Locker. Now Baxter. Little left foot give. It was not bad. Didn't go the distance. Hunter goes out of bounds. And Mark Hunter very quickly summing it up. Boundary throw in, right forward pocket for St Kilda. Ruckman, Wine, Allen, that should have been a free kick to Wine, surely. Fitzgerald supporters, a few ironical cheers there. Obviously feeling there should have been a few more free kicks. Wine has had 25 hit outs in a magnificent display of luck work. But there's a good mark taken by Harvey. Deep at right half forward for the Saints. Using Liberatore as a ladder now, low. Bernie, the two chances the Saints have for Lowe to take about eight or ten marks in this term and Lockett to kick four or five. Yeah, exactly, Bruce. And, uh, they've started well this final term, St Kilda. Stewie Lowe with a chance from about 45 metres out. Kicked the goal early in the game when he had a 50 metre penalty just before quarter time. And this would make it interesting. Lowe, drop punt. To behind. So one goal, two to low. Lockett's kick 2-7. And the Saints are 7-17 to 13-9. Campbell to the far side. 
Hawkins. Is that good work by Clark? No, says the umpire. And in 99.9% .9 of the circumstances where a player is running at the player waiting for the mark, the free kick is given to the player waiting. And in this case, it's Hawkins who kicks it back towards the centre wing. But a good mark is taken there by Allen. Handballs away to Greg. Greg, high. Still in that right forward pocket, which is useless. Punching it away was Foster. The ball's still to be won. Windmark couldn't gather it. Hawkins, Hunter. And some good player tangled up in all that. Maybe Clark. Is it down there in that right forward pocket? Fletcher. Bounce. St Kilda must get it over in front of their goals. Hunter can't get through. Just gets his right foot to the ball. And the mark is taken out there by Harvey. And he good, just chipped in front of Corcoran. Been a good player, hasn't he, Harvey? Always 30, a very good player. 30th uh, position or disposal coming up. Still kicks it into the pocket. Which, in my way of thinking, makes it even more and more difficult for them to kick goals. They've fallen for the uh, trap here at the Western Oval. And low is pinned in hard against the boundary line. He's kicked one goal. Needs something spectacular here. And they don't get it. He's now kicked one goal through. So some kill to trail. 60 to 87. Puts Gray by 27 points. Campbell. Foster's going to be his target. Just a good kick. Terrific kick. Foster worked for him too. He ran 30 metres and made it. Drop punt to centre wing. Coleman out of position. Chris Grant and David Grant. Coleman hurled a couple back for Kellett. Here's a chance. Kellett with a bounce. He's got Atkins inside of him. Still Kellett. Well played. Chris Grant to hold Winmar off. Kellett's kick. Gives Hawkins a hope. Oh, what a mark! You little champion, Dougie! Oh, you caught it beautifully, Bruce. And Dougie Hawkins with the sit of Mickey Dwyer. And he's brought the house down with that mark, hasn't he? Listen to the crowd. I hope I love Dougie Hawkins out here. Oh, he's, he's, a well, he's a homegrown player, isn't he, Bruce? Yeah. Uh, played football with Grover. Exactly. And uh, 270 or 80 games. For his fifth goal, straight through the middle. 14 9 to 7 18. What a great moment in this game that was. If ever you've seen a captain's goal and a captain's mark, that was it. It was a good build-up on this member side of the ground with uh, Nigel Cullett running down the ground. Chris Hawkins just keeping Nicky Winmar off him. 267th game today to Lucky Hawkins. Three to 60 again the gap is 33 points McPherson high not very far Grant got his hands on it Harvey's kick no mark to low good pressure there by Foster Wallace is there to give him a hand and Steve Wallace has been a very very reliable half back for Fitzgerald this afternoon 12 kicks but just makes a nuisance of himself as far as his opponent is concerned. High over the top, Allen, good leap. Here goes Wallace again, and blocked it. And the bounce was awkward for him. Takes it over for a boundary throw in. Well, I think all is spent now for St Kilda. We're nearly halfway through the last quarter. They still trail by 33 points. Ryan against him, Flanagan. Here's Craven round the body, keeps it in play, Campbell. Get through his defences, but are behind. 7-19. So since half-time, since Kilda's kicked one goal nine, a lot of rush behinds, and Tony Lockett with 2-7. And Footscray's kicked 8-4 in that time. Wines mark. Well, he was off too, Bruce. Very lucky to get away with that. Now plays on to Corcoran. He's been pretty good today. That's a lovely kick to Coleman. To Atkins. Gaps opening up now. Smith, well, Dwyer. Nobody really went for it. Smith trapped it, couldn't get it out. Good tackle by the Saints. Hawkins was sitting there waiting. You can see that he claps there. Pekin and Grant putting the tackle on. And Footscray deep in the tack. 
They've really made the running since half time. Charles versus Frawley. Greg. Tackle was a good one by McPherson. High ball. The two Grants do battle. Chris Grant in the front spot. Colin Hicks usually pretty clever in these situations. Craven and Libertore still livers. Charles goes to ground. Morris, Colin Hicks, Libertore. Ball up. Well done, Footscray, keeping it there. Yes, the forwards working feverishly to keep that ball in the forward line. Colin Hicks, Charles, Rowan Smith, who's been very good today, and of course, Tony Libertore. 14-9 plays 7-19 with just under 16 minutes left in the game. The bounce about 25 metres from the Footscray goal. Big punch by Flanagan. Devonport spins into, then out of. Flanagan gives it away to Callot with pace. Runs away from O'Dwyer. Dwyer up towards full court. Oh, nearly a Footscray mark. For Grant. Now Frawley. Tidies up for St Kilda. Away to Harvey. Harvey short kick, a little risky. Dwyer in trouble. Bounce awkward for everyone. Corcoran handballs it back. McPherson leaves it. Coleman there to give him a hand. Oh, you don't mind. The ballet dancer. Glenn Coleman. Atkins handball to Colin Uke. Colin Uke short kick. And he's got it. The hero of the Western Oval. Can he kick his six? Yes, sir. No, he can't. He hits the post. Oh. Gee, the emotions got up to the commentary box. Oh, so it should be too, Robbo. It was a good performance there. Dougie Hawkins probably had too much time in the end. Oh, that was unbelievable, wasn't it? He's used to kicking him under pressure. 14-10 to 7-19. Morris, straight down the centre. The only way to go now. Unopposed Pekin. Sweeps it to Greg. Goes wide. Looking for Harvey. He surely is St Kilda's best. Takes an excellent mark. Greg and Harvey, uh, between them, Greg's had 29 touches and the Harvey's at about 32. He had 32 last week against uh, Essendon as well. Low on the lead. Foster's hassled him out of it. Here's Hunter. Oh. Terrible. To Flanagan. Looking for Lockett. Campbell goes with him, but Big Tony... The Lockett variety, an excellent mark. It's a strong grab, isn't it, in front there? Tony Campbell with the sit. Tony Lockett doing the right thing, getting in front. Big body, it's pretty hard to get around. And a strong pair of hands. Well, he's only 25 metres out. He's had a lot of touches. He's had seven marks and ten kicks, but uh, two goals, seven. And the seven points all coming in a row, and he missed another one. So could have been anything for Lockett today. Could have been up to seven or eight goals. He's had enough chances. And this for his third. Drop punt. Looks all right. Goal. Three to Lockett. 8-19 to 14-10. But you wouldn't fancy that they could get up from here. No, Bruce. I think it's still a, a huge task for this forcing quarter to get back into this match. They're still a long way down. Tony Lockett uh, starting to find the target at last in this final quarter. He's kicked two goals for the term. Uh, it wasn't a good kick to mark there from uh, Flanagan. A bit of a wobbly punt too. The problem that they've had is they haven't been able to score enough goals quickly to St Kilda. Thirteen and a half minutes left in the match. St Kilda need to score five and keep... Footscray goalless. Atkins kicks to a vacant half forward flank. Off the ground by Smith, who's got some pace. And so is Grant for a man who's tall as he is. The ball goes over for Bambi throwing that right forward pocket for Footscray. Yeah, he's been good today, Rowan Smith. He's got 10 kicks, two hand passes, and he kicked one amazing goal, two for the match. Throw in. Flanagan. Kellett snaffles it. High kick by Kellett. Close to the goal line, punched away. Charles tried to get his foot to it, but it's rushed through for a behind to the Bulldogs. So the behinds mounting, which is good for them. At least they're keeping the ball in the forward line. Dwyer's kick in finds Crawley. He plays on quickly, gets under the kick a little bit towards half forward. Hunter picked off by Craven. He's tackled by Lippertore. He didn't have the football. Well done, Craven. But equally as well done was the tackle. Craven going nowhere. 
and at least held up the play. Yeah, exactly, Robbo, and uh, I think Tony would have been thinking about that when he applied the tackle because Craven was away and running. Well, the Saints need a goal in the next minute here. I get that. They've still got a, some hope. Low at the back. Winmar's had a quiet one. Tui went to ground. They look for a free kick. Now low. Well played Foster, though, just to stop it up. Low tackled. Liberatore on the up to Foster. Craven. Fletcher. Takes his time. To the pocket. Not well done. And again, as Robbo was pointing, in the direction of the pocket, it's indirect and making it very hard to score goals. And the Saints need them, and they need them quickly. It's not impossible, but... Uh, well highly unlikely they'll get out of uh, jail that they're in at the moment. Yes, Footscray have been able to force the ball into that pocket on a lot of occasions, haven't they, Robbo? Which has made it I very difficult. Also, Bernie, this is the attacking side of the ground, of course. But St Kilda haven't made any effort to move the ball across the centre-half forward no. from that outer wing. Now Atkins with a little one. Harvey, been tremendous all day. Wheeze his way through, Lockett with a chance. Tony Campbell with him. Free kick. Going against Lockett to Campbell. Campbell doesn't waste any time either. Sums up the situation and kicks it to Kellett at half back. Handball over the top was on. Steve Wallace has run on. Down he goes from Winmar. No free kick. Atkins has got it on the centre wing. Play on now. The kick goes towards half forward. Charles drops it. In goes Frawley. Hawkins a good one. Charles may kick it. Not on the full, it certainly will be now. No, Burke. St Kilda will get clear. Craven. Dwyer. Harvey's on his own on centre wing. The link player. Brilliantly. For kick number 23. Centre wing. He thumps it in towards centre half forward. Foster. Just gets low out of the contest. Takes a good mark. Kicks it wide to half back where McPherson has made good position. Quickly plays on to Corcoran. So Footscray holding up and stopping the Saints. Here's Hawkins, who's been magnificent today. Everything he's done has uh, been a winner. Baxter from the centre. The good kick to centre half forward. A beauty to Charles. Atkins is going to run on for him. Still a vacant goal square. They'll get back now, the Saints. Probably too far out, Bruce, I would think. The is still in uh, Charles's face. And taking a long time. Well, he must fancy himself to make the distance here, Robbo. Well, you should know. You're the kicking coach, aren't you? Well, I would have thought with the Breeze, looking at Winstock, it would have been, uh, it still will be a very long kick. Well, Coleman dropping back into the heart of the square with Chris Grant. Drop punt. Not going to quite make it. Coleman there, but outnumbered. Goes to ground. The Saints may concede a behind here. Burke, Chris Grant, oh, gee, almost. Point. Well, for a moment, the goal, I was going to sit for the goal. Instead of his <laughs> hand going for the ball, if his foot had gone for the ball, it would have been very, very close. It would have been an embarrassment for the Saints getting a goal against them that way, but it's 14-12 to 8-19. Morris to kick it back in. Short. Effective. The mark is taken by Frawley. Handball's away. It all looks too predictable for the Saints. Burke. Out wide towards centre wing. Footscray mark taken by Tui. No, free kick is it? It is, and it's going back maybe to Hunter. He'll take it on centre wing. He kicks it back in towards centre half back. Foster. Bombs away towards half forward. No mark taken. McPherson and Harvey. And the boundary thrown will take place. Left half forward for Footscray. It could be two, maybe two and a half kicks from their goal. They lead 14-12 to 8-19. We've got eight minutes and 20 seconds left in this match which has been a beauty for the Bulldogs feel as though the Saints were favourites here they go again Polonyuk kick is a little high it's going to lob in the square Frawley ball comes to ground where Grant is the first to recover and he kicks it beautifully well out towards the wing which is vacant the bounce is very awkward but Keller who has controlled the ball very very well and that little pass was good finds Atkins nearer the centre Handball away to Hawkins, who never misses. Goes along with the left foot. Into the square, it bounces. Close to the line to Bale. Grant. He kicked four goals down, Chris Grant. And a 
wonderful performance by a 19-year-old. Still in his infancy as an AFL player. And there's Dougie Hawkins giving instructions. He really is the captain of this Footscray Football Club. Well, the doggies are celebrating now, and why not? They're safe. They've stretched it back to what the margin was at three-quarter time. They're 35 points in front. Wine, who's been outstanding. Corcoran, they've got a lot of good players. That one touched off the boot. Morris carries it forward to Craven. Back to Morris, who won the first turn. High one, lock it at the back. Tony Campbell in the front. Clark goes to ground. He's besieged upon. And that's been the story of Footscray's day, hasn't it? Yeah, they've had the numbers at the fall of the ball. And that's usually a good sign. The team is very keen and very committed. Been relentless. No question about that. There's a wonderful spirit out here. They're going to take some stopping. Flanagan, snapshot for goal, are behind 8 20 to 15 12. So 27 shots to 28. And yet Footscray has this commanding lead. I think they've played the ground a lot better than St Kilda have, Bruce, or they've been uh, allowed to, maybe. Footscray have forced St Kilda into the pockets, and uh, a lot of their behinds have come from shots that have been very, very difficult. I know they've missed a few easier ones, but uh, there's Foster being awarded a free kick and half back. Great game today by Foster. He's no kept word. Stewie Lowe out of the game all day. Nice kick, too. There's a good mark taken by Lowe. Handball away to Harvey. In turn... Not bad to Craven. Just puts the little player under a little bit of trouble. Good tackle by Warren. He's been yeah. rewarded because Craven holding the ball. I think that was a bit tough. No, oh, good decision, I think, Robbo. Well, the ball ran free. That's sure, really that's play on. Wine in towards the centre where Coleman marks. To McPherson. Swings it laterally. McPherson goes towards centre half forward. Charles at the back. Grant dumps it away. Devonport. Now David Grant to Morris, a lot of kicks back to centre half forward Tui takes off, Flanagan who's playing at centre half forward with Lowe having a run on the ball, here's Foster been excellent, bangs it back at the back Charles, Harvey, Atkins applies the tackle, Kellett all versus Lowe, now cutting it well down with a bounce, Hawkins wants it in the goal square, Chris Grant's got the penetration to go there and he could go all the way to Smith, who should kick his third. Lines him up and go again. 16 12 to 8 20. It's an exciting team. There are stars left, right, and centre today. Well, it has been a magnificent performance by this Fitzgerald team. Alan Smith has kicked his third goal. All coming in the second half of the game. He started off on the half back flank. And Fitzgerald now out to a 40 point lead. And St Kilda, you would have thought, would have made inroads into that lead at the, in this last quarter, especially kicking with the aid of the Brews. But Footscray was some superb team play. Chris Grant has been magnificent. Dougie Hawkins, inspirational. Steve Collin looked great after half-time. And Rowan Smith in only his second game and has been tremendous. Yes, Bernie only turns 19 in May, Rowan Smith. So uh, he's got something to look forward to. Wine. Punches it out towards half forward. Morris comes from centre half back and kicks it back towards half forward. But again, they've been forced to kick into that far pocket. And Foster won't be worried too much about it. And a boundary throw in that right forward pocket. Stewie Lowe now doing the ruck work. I think it's uh, Tim Allen playing at centre half forward. But all too late, I think, for the Saints. By oh, my word, only uh, about five minutes left in the match. Wind has been an absolute Trojan in the ruck. Craven gets past some uh, opposition players and kicks it into the square. It's punched away by Campbell. Well done. He's done his job. No matter what happens in the next five minutes, Tony Campbell has been quite magnificent at fullback. Helped out by a lot of his teammates, of course. That kick in marked by Atkins. Atkins in turn goes to McPherson. He's knocked up getting the ball too. McPherson. This time he's forced to kick under pressure. Leaving it behind was Baxter, but coming in to help out is Kellett, and it goes over for Bambi throwing. Nigel Kellett also a very good player today. 20 possessions, provided a lot of run for the Footscray team. Centre wing, Flanagan and Wine, been the uh, outstanding player, Wine. Craven, Atkins, Kellett, 
Liberatore now Craven tries to get it out to Newport. And again, Tui, one of the tacklers, along with uh, Liberatore and Atkins. And a very good sign that Bruce. Four Footscray players doing the tackling and one St Kilda player. Michael Ford back on the ground. Russell Morris coming off with a slight limp. So, wine to do battle with Flanagan. Wine has been uh, brilliant today. Now Kellett, Tui, well played. Atkins, who's just kept on going all day. His work's been very effective. Looks for Hawkins, set him up a bit. Dwyer. Well, well played, Charles. Lobbed it off him. Can he keep it in play? He can. Which way will it bounce? Across the face. Burke back there. Colin Yip will be with him and hassle him and worry him, and it runs out. Well, Steve Colin Yip, best game he's played for quite a while. He's had. 18 possessions, but he's 1% as well. But little hard things in football, he's done them all very well today. Oh, yeah. Charles goes against Lowe, who's having a run on the ball. Taps it to his captain, Frawley. A quick kick under pressure. Corcoran against the run of it. Winmar there with Harvey. There's a bit of pace and skill against Corcoran. Harvey well played to Winmar. Yes, I think he spotted him beautifully, Harvey. Winmar had run on. Then the pass finds Allen. Allen sweeping onto the left foot. Goes long. It's a magnificent kick. It may bounce close to the line. And through for one behind. Tim Allen, that's his first score. One behind. 8-22, play 16-12. But this is one game where you couldn't possibly say that bad kicking has cost St Kilda. They've been beaten comprehensively by the Bulldogs as Winmar goes for goal and belatedly gets one for the Saints. Winmar's second goal. St Kilda get their ninth. Footscray lead 108 to 76 in the dying minutes. It's a belated goal to St Kilda. Winmar, not a bad game today, but not his usual influence. Two goals for the match. One in the first quarter, one in the last. But they really haven't been able to make inroads into this uh, big Footscray lead at three-quarter time. So in the dying minutes, just two and a bit remaining. It's 108 to 76. 16-12 to 9-22. Low sits and waits and dumps it 40 metres towards centre-half forward. Clark and Wallace with it. Now Hunter squeezes it out to Kellett, who's been excellent. This is his 16th kick. Well, he'll go for the handball to Smith. Now he might get another chance, Kellett. Oh, well played. Turn Devonport around. At the back, Charles. Free kick's got to go to Low in the front spot so Stewie Lowe getting some touches now he's having a run on the ball but uh, the outstanding player of last week for St Kilda has struggled today looks for Pekin Smith will go with him and spoil Devonport and again a throw in so it's all Footscray here at the Western Oval they start the season with two consecutive wins and what bonus wins they are against Adelaide and St Kilda. They've started second favourites in both of the games. Callop tries to get the ball forward. Atkins has tackled too high. And will take the free kick. He's been again a playmaker for Footscray with 20 kicks and nine hand passes, Simon Atkins. Uh, lets himself down a little bit there, but the kick fortuitously lands in the arms of Darren Baxter. The perfect pass, that one, wasn't it, Well, <laughs> I meant for Justin Charles, of course. The kick by Baxter's OK too. Hawkins has got it. Gee, this would cap off a game and a half, wouldn't it? Hawkins deep in the right forward pocket. Less than a minute left. He's kicked uh, five goals. Now, you get the feeling that he's got to kick a bit of a banana kick to force it back against the breeze. But he kicks a drop punt across the face of goal, and it's been marked by Lowe in that back pocket. He kicks it quickly, out further. Mark is taken by Ford, he's able to run on. And with the advantage of his second bounce now, he's taken the ball to half back. The kick is ordinary. Dropped off by McPherson. McPherson's kick, back towards half forward. Low and Coleman, Low goes after it again. He's still got the football. Now he's able to get the hand pass to Burke. In turn to Craven, or Burke in trouble. Now he goes to Fletcher, and there's the siren. And a magnificent victory by Footscray. Well earned, well deserved, and 20 guys just having a real go at the football, and they've beaten St Kilda quite comfortably in the finish by 32 points. Footscray 16-12, 108.
Saint Kilda, 9.22.76.